good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night. This is what I like to call simplicity. Things to be grateful for. At this moment, I'm still poor. <laughs> it's a po, but I'm enjoying a fire. And I'm not, I'm not completely hungry yet. Hasn't kicked in yet today, which is always a good thing. So I got some water. <sighs> One of the things that I was taught in my journey was to appreciate the moment. Live in the moment. Especially when that's all you got, babe. Right now... I'm king of the fire. <laughs> I have a little bit of wood over there. So I have enough to, you know, make a couple fires. Simplicity, right? Things you're grateful for. I mean, it's still kind of cool in the morning in the desert, so it's, it's okay to have a fire without looking ridiculous. But it's still going to warm up. <clears throat> yeah. Enjoy the simple things, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I tell and very another important lesson it's not is empathy. Sometimes it's hard to be empathetic if you've never experienced things. Like if you're rich and you don't know what it's like to be poor, you've never gone without, you've never struggled to pay a bill, had a pill go bill go late, get notices saying they're gonna turn you off, kick you out, then you don't know what the struggle is. You don't know a lot of the struggle. And that's not your fault. Good for you. Maybe you had good karma in your last life, so you get rich, you know, a silver spoon, which is blessing, of course. But I would also recommend that you learn how to suffer. Not like intentionally, but a great example would be to have a good meal in the morning, eat some vitamins, and don't eat for 24 hours, if longer, if you can. Fast for a minute. Fast. Find empathy for your fellow man. See, <clears throat> my problem was, no, no, it's not a problem. It's just that I was in such a survival mode that I, I forgot about the compassion part at some point. Not completely, but you, it, it does diminish when, they, when you're running, fleeing for your life. It kinda, it's survival instincts and, you know, kicking people out of the way and that kind of thing. Not that I was doing that great example was that young lady I saw down the hill when I was getting supplies. I mean, I'm not poor, I was, but I could have offered her something to eat. I mean, I'm hoping she was making a killing because she, she didn't look like a scumbag. She just looked like a young kid who was depressed and unhappy and holding sign. And I could have offered her something to eat. I didn't, which is my bad. I know what it's like to go without. I've gone without as a child. I mean, my childhood was nothing silver spoon. My, there was, I had rich relatives, but they could give a fuck about me, right? I was the black sheep. My mother was the black sheep of the family. She was the disappointment. And she didn't, she lived up to that boy. She didn't just, you know, rise high above that, and just show them that they're wrong. She proved them right by doing everything wrong. And we, as kids, we went without a lot. I mean, I wasn't able to call my grandparents up and say, look, I'm so, I'm starving today. Could you? They could give a shit. It was sad. But, you know, if you know what it's like to suffer, it's, it's easier to, you know, empathize. And I also want to bring up some stuff that I was brought to my attention yesterday. There are people that are going to hate that you glow up. You, I'm poor. I have haters. People that hate me because I'm changing hearts. I'm leading people on their proper path. I'm just giving the information that I've learned and that I've grown from is helping people apparently, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And there's some people that don't like that. If you're established religion and you, and you hear me talking about self-empowerment and self-love and, and you are, you know, you have empowered to be able to do stuff, yeah. Who am I? They didn't they didn't give me permission. Yeah. So you're gonna have haters out there regardless. 
there's there are light workers that are rough like for me i grew up in the streets i'm street smart and and street well you know and you know i went to college so i'm book smart too but i think it's more half the time i'd rather have street smarts any day because you can survive on that you can relate to people a little bit better with that book smarts there's people that are my mother was book smart she had no common sense so she was highly intelligent but she was just not uh, she was not a righteous person I don't think she's watching this, so she's not gonna too pass. She, my mother knows. She knows. We've had we've had this talk as adults, and I'm like, don't bullshit me. We'll have a great relationship. I'll treat you with respect. I love her because she gave birth to me. I love my mother for that. I do because I love my life. But I'm not pointing out some flaws if, when I see them. And boy, they had some. My, both my parents had some flaws when they were kids, younger. And they passed that on to me. And luckily, I'm breaking those fucking curses. So I'm getting out of it. But there are light workers out there that aren't that are a little rough, little diamonds in the rough. Maybe they're cussed a little bit too much or whatnot. But the message gets out, right? And I tell people, God will use people any way they he, that he or she sees fit. God used Trump. You don't think he's done with that dude either? But he will use everybody and anything to get the message out, to get people on the right path, to get people loving themselves, to raising their high vibrations, to be to to be loved, to be the embodiment of love. <sighs> so don't discount people if if they're cussing. They say bra or whatever. You know, people talk differently. So you're going to have to excuse that and listen to the message. Because these people are on point. And you have people out there that are trying to dismiss these light workers. For me, me for example. They're trying to dismiss me. And as if they know God's will, like they know God's plan, like God called them personally and say, you need to shut that up, tell that motherfucker to quit talking about me, right? No. They're just jealous because they see the power in you, they see the truth in you, and they, they know it's true, but they, they're going to ignore it, they're still going to low vibration, they're going to still cling to a, you know, a book, regardless of what the book is, whether it's uh, the Bible or the Quran, it's a book. You are the living embodiment of God, of the universe. I've never read the Bible. Not I've listened and all that stuff, but I've never sat down and read the whole thing. I don't need to. I know good and bad. I know right and wrong. There's some great stories in the Bible. Joseph is a great story. Moses, amazing stories. True or not, they're amazing stories. I'm going to give them that. I love them. But I know my truth, and I'm not going to listen to anybody but me. My heart, my soul, my mind. Because God knows me, and if yeah, there ain't no, there's you know, there's no doubting faith. You either have it or you don't. And people that don't have faith are always attacking other people that do have faith. So some light workers are going to be a little rougher than others, and there's going to be people pretending to be light workers that aren't anything near. They they're not in touch with God. They're not in touch with their inner self. They're not in touch with the universe. They're just trying to sell some snake oil. So you got to watch out for them. They're in there. They're in. The Pope is an amazing example of a snake oil scumbag, evil Satanist. That guy's evil, straight up. The Vatican is evil. It's run by Satanists. If you go there, you'll feel it. If you look at that weird sculpture in the back of their little snake-looking cathedral, that is demonic as hell. That ain't inspired by love that ain't inspired by god sorry but that's a great example so you gotta you gotta listen to your heart you gotta know right and wrong and that's that's the basics 101 right so don't dismiss light workers that they're a little rough around the edges right what you want to be careful of the person that's clean neat perfection telling you how it's got to be this is the way or you're going to hell mm -mm. It's what you do that sends you to hell, not what you think or what you say. So be careful of that too. Anyway, it's important to be empathetic. Like I said, if you have to, if you if you need to understand somebody more that's poor, starving, go without for a day or two. S -s -s fast, you know. Know what it's like to go without. It's it's a really depressing feeling. There's nothing more demoralizing than going to sleep hungry. Period. And if you don't know what that's like experience it and then get back to me because it's not fun and it's happening a lot more 
And what the government's doing lately is they're they're making Joe Biden look really good, and the numbers unemployment look really good because they're dropping everybody on unemployment. And then this is the fun part: they're not returning calls. You you call unemployment in any state, you're gonna get a busy signal, or you're gonna get like a five-hour wait, or you're not gonna, or they're just gonna say sorry, you don't qualify in the last 18 months. When everything was shut down in the last 18 months, the world didn't open up until what March? That was what six months, seven months, whatever. That's not 18 months. So they they they're using they're using words and things to get around helping people. So there's a lot more people. I'm just a great example. There's you know there's millions of us out there. They they say there's four point something million people that don't want to work. Maybe their jobs were gone. Maybe the stores that they were working at are gone, and they're traveling. What were they supposed to do? Sit. Not everybody was able to sit in an apartment and not have to pay rent. Some people had to kick the ro kick rocks and go on the road. So, you know, don't trust the news. They're all full of shit. They're just complete liars. Absolutely. I, I studied journalism for fucking three years before I gave up and did art. They are liars. The same people, the same scumbags that have been running this world for a long time, the same scumbags that have been lying to you forever are in charge of everything now. They're in charge of the snake shot. They're in charge of the... the the face diaper, they're in charge of everything. And people are going along with it. They, they should know better. These people are liars. And yet they go along with it. Whatever, you know. It hurts my heart. It does. I see some amazing people living in fear and it sucks. Live in love, not in fear. That's how we win, baby. Anyway, I'm going to stoke my fire because it looks like it's going all the way So I'm going to enjoy my fire because it's the simplicity of it at the moment. And then I'm going to try to sell my art today. And see how that goes. A gentleman actually gave me a, ten bucks yesterday. He didn't want to buy anything. He just wanted to give me ten bucks. He was with this old lady, and she was talking about my art. So he's he looked good. Made him look good. Made him look empathetic and thoughtful. And I appreciate it because I actually got some fries and a soda and some water. So, amen. He was very generous. I appreciate that. But I'm not here to beg. I'm here to sell. I'm here to sell my art. Make an honest living. Anyway, I love you. God loves you and the universe is still digging you and still rooting for you. And your ancestors, that's another thing. Your ancestors, you are their wildest dream. Be that wildest dream of your ancestors. They're all looking down from you. I got ancestors from all over the world. I got Scottish ancestors. I got Cherokee ancestors. I even got Nubian ancestors, baby. These lips aren't white. Trust me. So your ancestors are rooting for you. And they want you to be their wildest dream. So make that dream reality, okay?